Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Welcome new subscribers. Hope to see your comments down below. Please feel free. Come out and tell us where you're watching from. Aries to Pisces. Aries to Pisces. Yes. Is someone manifesting you? Five cards spread. At the end, we're going to pull one angel answer card for you. Okay. Aries. Aries, is someone manifesting you? Aries. I'm just going to do one. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Aries. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Aries, somebody manifesting you? Five cards. Holy crap. Well, I would say, um, yeah. With a spiritual card and the sun card, uh, definitely a yeah. The person is very heavy laden, thinks about you a lot. Very burdened, want to bring you in maybe a marriage offer or a move-in offer because they think that you're just gorgeous or very, very handsome. See it, that you're doing pretty good taking care of yourself, Aries. Let's pull a card for you, Aries. Let's see if it makes any kind of sense. And the card I have is in the near future. There you go, darling. There you go. Aries. Taurus. Taurus, is there someone manifesting you? Taurus. Why did you just cross my mind? Lady Jin D. How you doing, darling? Paul, how you doing, love? Sarah Orman. People just cross my mind all of a sudden, the truth. It's crossing into my mind here. One cut Taurus. Is somebody manifesting you? One, two, three, four, four, and five. Okay. Well, they're being brought back up. What you think is dead is not dead. Look at this. This was a great potential here. Honestly, God, it does. It's not a great potential card. But it looks really, really good. And when I got all these pentacles... Very, very enriching, very nice. But you know what? This person feels that you may be, you may have a lot of drama wrapped around you, or you may cause some kind of unnecessary drama, is what Spirit's telling me. Let's pick a card for you here. Taurus, you could be dealing with another Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Let's pick a card for you. And it says, remain positive. Taurus, that's beautiful. Gemini. Gemini. Hello, Strawberry. Gemini. Hello, Craig. Gemini. Gemini. One cut. Good morning, Ceaseless. All the people that are crossing my mind. Gemini. Well, someone's manifesting you. Somebody's manifesting, well, that's the name of it, right? Who's manifesting? Somebody is manifesting. The person's in bad shape, though, darling, whoever you're dealing with. Could be some 
addictions or something here, but they do want to work on it. But they feel that uh, that the situation's closing off. Probably haven't heard from you for a while, or you haven't heard from them. They do want to work on it 100%. This person, though, is conflicted, confused. They could have a short temper also, Gemini. Very passionate person, but could have a short temper. And your card says, ooh, I choose a new direction. All right. Okay, Gem. Cancer. Cancer. Hello, Jordan. How are you doing, darling? Just popped into my brain. Just want to say hello to everybody that pops in to say hello. Stephanie. Cancer. Cancer. Edwina. You really flew in here in a big hurry. How you doing, darling? Cancer, one cut. Is someone manifesting you? Cancer, somebody is, uh, yeah, somebody is manifesting you. Um, for some reason, this person feels uh, healed around you. I, I think that you have a way with them and talking to them and making them feel better. But right now, since you've been gone, they're right back into feeling despair again. Um, they still wait. They still wait for a ship to come in. They're deceptive to themselves. Um, and what I mean by that is, Cancer, I feel that uh, you are the right one, and they know that. But they kind of wait for another ship to come in. They kind of deceive themselves into believing that you're the one. It's uh, probably someone might be a bit stubborn. Um, they're trying to stay on course, though, in how they're feeling about you. I, I do feel, yeah, they definitely want to come back, and they probably are manifesting. But manifestation is also thinking a lot about someone. And your angel answer card is, ask your angels. Ask your angels. We're going to change decks. We don't want the deck to go cold on us. We're going to go with the Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards now. And we are on Leo. Leo is someone manifesting you. Leo, spirit? Yes. Leo, let's go. Five cards. Oh, this is a power couple. But there's someone else involved here, Leo. Uh, this person could be with someone who is uh, quite forceful with them. Someone who uh, won't give them an inch. Someone that might be watching them a lot. Someone who judges them. Uh, there's some sort of healing that they're trying to get. There is a lot of big feelings here. Uh, but as you can see, Leo, with this power couple, there's someone in the middle. Could be dealing with the Libra or Pisces. We're doubled up in Pisces here. Uh, could be dealing with... Um, with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Are they manifesting you? Um, with a power couple, there is no doubt, but I believe that they're with someone that they don't have the time of day to even try to manifest that this person might be on them all the time, watching them all the time. But your angel answer card is the situation will improve. So, there you go, Leah. Virgo, is there someone manifesting you, my love? Virgo, Virgo, is there someone manifesting you? 
and if not manifesting, thinking about you a lot. Let's give them a cut, a Virgo. First one out is a bastardo. Bastardo always tells the truth, always. This could have in the past been a deceptive energy to you. But um, I really think that they're really looking back. They're definitely manifesting. Think about you a lot. They're looking back. They feel very, very heavy laden, heavy burdened. Feeling a lot of drama. Uh, they see you as absolutely gorgeous, absolutely very, very handsome. Um, there's no doubt that you're the one brand new love, whole, whole brand new thing coming in here, Virgo, between the two of you. Person's coming back and they might come back fixed. Let's pull an angel answer card for you. And we have, wait. Wait, my darling, wait. Libra. Libra, is there someone manifesting you? Libra. Hello, Daryl. How are you, my love? Libra. Paul, you popped in my head now twice. What's going on, darling? I hope you're okay. Libra. One cut. Is there someone manifesting you, my love? This is a fighter. It's definitely a fighter. Maybe even downright freaking obnoxious. I hate to say that, but hey, I gotta tell you what I see. I see them looking at you like you're doing pretty good. Like they look at you like you're beautiful, like you're handsome. Uh, they walked away, but they didn't really go anywhere. This could be an Aries Leo Sedge. But I got a power couple here, but there's a there's some stuff going on in between here. There's a power couple, one on each end. One on each end. <laughs> but uh with some drama here with this person. Libra, let's pull you a card and uh answer yeah, they are thinking of you and manifesting you i think so but this is a very strong strong um energy that you're dealing with your angel answer card says communicate clearly so there's a possibility this person is coming in soon to go with their intentions Scorpio, Scorpio, is there someone, someone manifesting you? Scorpio, is there someone thinking of you, thinking about coming forward? Oh, holy crap. <laughs> wow, Scorpio. Wow, who is this? This is someone, I mean, I've got the devil card with the nightmare card. Not only is this a devil, this is a nightmare. Honest to God, when it came to the truth, there was no truth. The only truth that you could find in this person was that they walked away. That you know is the truth. Definitely all these spades are doing with um, air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person is a fighter also. This is someone that's into drama. That's, oh, holy crap. Uh, Scorpio, I mean, 
Look at that. There's not a green light in there at all. Um, <laughs> truthfully, looking at this, I can't even tell, Scorpio. I, I'm going to have to pull another couple of cards because, it, well, it's a soulmate from the past. And they are going to come to talk. And I'm telling you, they're... Scorpio, holy crap. Let's pull an angel answer card for you. One hell of a heavy energy that this person has. Man. I hope this resonates with nobody. Oh, that nasty energy here. Improving health. Well, you, you know what? <laughs> okay. Improving health. Well, I, I don't see... Um, I, I, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. I'm sorry. This could be someone who's uh, in jail or getting out of jail or uh, definitely addictions and a lot of trauma. Let's give them a shuffle. Scorpio. Damn. Sagittarius. Is there someone manifesting you false to the left? We're going to keep it. Someone looking at a marriage card. Well, let's find out if that's a marriage card there. Sag, let's give him a cut. Oh, could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with an Aries. Someone refused your cup. Yeah, they're manifesting. And this could be someone that you're married to or was living with in the, in the past. And they want to try again. They refused your cup. They did. Big thinker, uh, someone may have a community job, such as a cop, firefighter, uh, librarian, anything that's working for the government kind of thing. Definitely somebody into uh, either their own business or they're the CEO of a company or something like that. A security guard, uh, somebody that might be working for the prison system, working in a hospital. Even if you're just mopping the floors, even if you're the janitor, you're still working in the hospital. Anybody that works for some sort of a government community thing. They refused your cup, but I got the Ten of Cups coming back in return here. House, home, happiness, joy. Uh, this is going to come back together again. It's going to be very, 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 very enriching. Um, Sedge, it looks really good. Let's pull you an angel answer card. It looks really, really good. Poor Scorpio. How these readings can go from so low to so high. And, and you're... <laughs> okay, so much for the angel answer cards. <laughs> There's something better. <laughs> uh, the angel answer cards are kind of wonky. <laughs> but I see, yeah, I see really, really good. Really good. <laughs> Capricorn, Capricorn, is someone manifesting you? Is your person manifesting you? Are they thinking about you all the time? Can't get you off their mind. Well, there's definitely communication coming in. It is a soulmate. There's going to be some great celebration. The bastardos come in to say that there is going to be some direct communication. Very, very direct. And what it is, there's going to be some great celebration here with a soulmate. There's going to be a whole brand new offer brought in. Standing at the crossroads. Whole brand new offer. This person is very, very hard for you to resist. And I believe you're hard for them to resist also. Someone coming with the gift of the tongue. Or uh, a gift. But definitely uh, someone thinking about you. Very, very um, traumatized by what happened. Somebody is very, very sad. Overwhelmed with sadness. Let's pull an angel answer card for you. Capricorn. Let's pull an angel answer card for you. 
<laughs> Let's hope it matches up with the reading. <laughs> it says no need to worry. Definitely not. No need to worry. Aquarius. Let's give them a shuffle. Break them up. Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. I want to thank you guys for all your comments down, that you leave below. All the, all the wonderful things that you have to say. I really appreciate that. Love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for your support. For your love, your light, your emails, your comments. Thank you. Let's give them one cut. Aquarius, is someone manifesting you? Someone thinking about you a lot? Someone thinks about you a lot. Someone really, really, really thinks about you a lot. Bam. You are their wish fulfillment. They want to celebrate. They, they, they want love from you. They've been trying to heal from how they're feeling because they're feeling unbalanced because either you left them out in the cold or... You just feel abandoned. And with this abandonment, they just feel very, very unsteady. Feel like they can't get their balance. Person really, really. Woo, Aquarius, you're a lucky person to have the emotions that this person has for you. This is true love. This is someone that will put you on a pedestal. Let's give them a cut. Angel answer cards. Let's hope we get something good. Be assertive. Okay. Okay. Pisces, I know you've been waiting. I know you've been waiting. So let's get the Pisces cards out. Pisces. Pisces. Oh. They're all mixed up. Pisces, are you all mixed up? They're all mixed up here. Let's straighten them out. There we go. Okay. What happened there? Pisces, is someone manifesting you, someone thinking about you all the time? What's going on with your person? Pisces. Let's go. Let's give them a cut. Pisces. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, well, immediately someone's coming with an apology. They really, really like the way you look. You really, really do something to this person. Turn them on. Even though this is a wish fulfillment, this person left, they didn't leave, they always think about you, always. But my God, they can be cantankerous. They can seem to pick an argument for no freaking reason whatsoever. But you are their wish fulfillment, they can't go on without you. They can't leave. But they're argumentative. Aren't hit it. But yeah, uh, they think about you. All the time. Let's pick an angel answer card. Let's hope it matches up for the reading. We'll give them a cut. What do we got to say to Pisces spirit? It's up to you. It's up to you. We've got a little more time. Let's just do a quick collective. Collective. See if we can pick up on some more energies out there. Collective. Is your person manifesting you? And by the way, Pisces, what I was picking up there was uh, another water sign. Also was picking up um, uh, fire, Aries Leo Sedge. Collective, your person could be a Taurus. Um, 
this is one's different. I feel that things were pretty friggin' bad here. There may have been words spoken and tempers might have flared and things were said that probably shouldn't have been said. Someone definitely could not control themselves here. And another has taken great offense. When it comes to, I, I'm going to have to say no, collective, uh, the energies I'm picking up on, I don't think this person's manifesting at all. Uh, you might be, you might be expecting uh, someone to take a leap, but um, I, I see someone kind of letting go here, and there's no leap. Leap is in the reverse. I don't see a leap into um, an offer. And I hope that's not for anybody out there. These re Please remember these readings are general. Don't take that to heart. Don't say, I know it's me. It's not a personal reading. These readings are general. And what I have here is don't stop. So you might be collective starting to feel better. It might have been a while since you've heard from this person or seen them. So don't stop. Just keep doing you. Well, too bad it ended on such a sour note, but it was fun. It was time passing. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I was really thinking maybe coming out later on and doing the live. If so, I hope you can join me. Namaste.